how to add a file upload field to Wix form. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a file upload field within your Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and visit Wix.com. Create an account if you don't have an account and if you already have one, go ahead and sign in. If you sign in, you will see the website that you have created. If you didn't already, go ahead and create your new website. Click on the blue button right there and it will showcase you the templates and the possibility to build a website with the help of the AI. Now, we have the website right there. I'm going to select any website that I want to add this option or this feature in and click on it. Click on select and edit site and there it will load up the Wix platform or the dashboard of that specific website. Right there we have the dashboard on and we have multiple options. If you want to modify the website simply click on edit site right there and then it will pop up a window and load the Wix editor. Right here, we have the website that we have created. We have all of the features that we have set. And also we have the uh, options from the header, the products and the layout. As you can see, my template is nearly complete for the sections and everything. You can go ahead and set everything from that you want and to add that field of the uploading file all you have to do is very simple go ahead right there to the apps and within the apps we are going to see the wix app market go ahead right there and search within the search bar and type simply upload upload like that and see here what results we will get we have here uploadly file upload and upload from builder formally. I'm going to select this one. We have a three day free trial. I'm going to click on it. Simply I will wait for a few seconds and I will add it to the site. Click on add to site. And here we have the installer is going to be live. What is the purpose of this app? Maybe you will ask. It is very simple. Go ahead and click on agree and add first. The specific uh, or benefit of this app is to let customers upload their files to your, uh, for example, order and make things easier for you. This is will uh, get better within the uh, shops of, for example, POD or print on demand t-shirts or accessories or etc they will or the clients or the buyers will upload you a design and you are going to print it in their uh, for example orders like t-shirts and etc here we have the form set which is called the widget also we have here the button of settings click on it and we have the formally wait for the application to be set and create your own form click on create form and it will show and pop up the editor. We have the foreign name, the field name, and we have the drag and drops field. Now, simply drag and drop on the builder right there and click on save. For example, if you want to add a name case or field, click on it, drag and drop right there, and it will be added. If you don't want it, simply click on delete. We have the single line text, multi line text, drop down menu option, option list, check boxes, numbers, email, phones, captcha, and the most important one is the upload button. You can manage the style settings from the font and also the label color and the placeholder and input font size. Now, Let's go ahead and add some elements to this uh, drag and drop builder and we are going to set it up. Let's say that we are going to sell some t-shirts and for that 
simply go ahead and add a single line text like that. If you want to make some customizable text on the t-shirt and you are going to add the upload button right there. Here you are going to give the clients the uh, option to upload their file. Go ahead and let it like that and we have it set. And if you want to add some extra options, you can go ahead and put these check boxes. Add it like this between those. And here we have the fields. For the check boxes, you can go ahead and put the label on it. For example, let's say that we are going to put right there the or t shirt, like that t shirt style. Style. And here we have the first section or selection, second and third. Go ahead and modify the label right there and set it, for example, casual. Casual like that. Go ahead and put it like this. Here the second selection, it is set to, let's say, sporty. Sporty like that. And the final one I'm going to put here, classic or classy. You can go ahead and put it like that. Here we have the, uh, as you can say, uh, a uh, selected field or also a checkbox. Click on save. Here the field name cannot be empty. Where's the field name? I'm going to set the field name right there. Let's go ahead and put it, uh, let's say, design, designed like that, designed, uh, preference. Reference, and here we have it. Click on save, and it will be added right there. We have the with the widget. You can add the widget right there, and it will be added automatically. Here we have the widget, and we have it right there. This will be very very effective within a blank section. I'm going to create a blank section right there to let you see the efficient of that one. Go ahead to the elements. You can add either a element or go ahead and add a section right there. Click on a blank section and we are going to see that. Go ahead and drag and drop that formally. Put it right there and make the section wider. I'm going to stretch that section and here we have it. Go ahead and make this to the top. I don't need it right there. Click on it, make it like this and here we have it. Go ahead and put it wherever you want. For example, we are going to put this like that. I'm going to put it right there and simply go ahead and add some elements. I'm going to set an image. Let's go ahead and put a image. Go ahead and upload any image that you want. Simply go ahead and click on the plus button and it will showcase the image uploader. Go ahead and select your image from your computer like this maybe. I'm going to open it and let it upload just in few seconds because it has a very lightweight uh, kilobytes. It is added. I'm going to add it to my page and let it right there. Go ahead and make it a little bit smaller like that. You can add your description to this section and maybe make this section a little bit smaller like that. And I'm going to stretch it like this, make this maybe a little bit small. And you can go ahead and set it like that. This is maybe better. Put the description if you want or let it like that. Here the single line text, we are going to modify it and not let it as a single line text. So we are going to click on edit again. And from here, we are going to click on this one. The label right there i'm going to put here customization customization like that click on save and here we have it when you finish everything right there click on save and everything is going smoothly you can see the t-shirt style the customization and the source or the file upload section or field that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.